So to do the problem so far, we've replaced f of x with y. We've interchanged uh, the x's and y's. Use arrows, very helpful. Now, I'm going, now we're currently solving for y, so I multiply both sides by 2. And I'm subtracting 5. And now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Whoops. Just a negative 3. All right, let me zoom in. This where students had a little bit of difficulties understanding the fractions. So negative 3 divided by negative 3 is just y. Here I have 2x divided by negative 3, which is y plus. Negative 2 thirds x. And how about this one? Negative 5 divided by negative 3 is? plus 5 thirds. Remember, to understand what we just did, it might help to go backwards. Because I have a common denominator, um, that could be like a negative, uh, and then you would have negative 3. So you're kind of combining a common denominator then you add the numerators. Negative 2x minus 5. Okay? And then step number 4, Mary Grace is my hair. Erica, number four. Replace. Say it again. Replace <coughs> y with. Okay. The inverse of x is just saying this. Everyone say inverse of x. When you see a negative 1 there, it's not an exponent. We've talked about it the other day. It just means the inverse. And then I can just write this. <coughs> and this is our answer. So in this problem, change it to a y, switch, solve for y, and then put back the inverse of x.